So let's take a look at some terror concepts and the way they could be implemented in a person's life, therapeutically, how you would deal with it. Because when we talk about Hasidic psychology, what we're talking about is concepts of the Torah, but viewed from a, a psychological, therapeutic perspective, which is how do I how really integrate it? How do I really get it? How do I really internalize it and make it part of my life? So let's take a look at two concepts that are important, are crucial, as brought down by Kabbalah, um, but need to be worked on. And, and the way they interplay with each other, um, the therapist can help a client to really integrate it and get it. Um, and then apply them and really get a different perspective on their life's challenge. So here's the first one. The first concept says like this. Nothing happens randomly. Uh, God is not only the creator, but he's the master. He's involved with our lives on a regular basis. Or in other words, uh, there's God gracious who created the world. And then there's the incredible story of the Jews leaving Mitzrayim, leaving Egypt. You see God's hand and his involvement in life on a day-to-day -day basis. Which means that, as far as practically speaking, from the minute I wake up until the minute I go to sleep, everything is for a reason. Everything has a message. Everything is part of my relationship with God. Uh, he's speaking to me. We're having a conversation. And uh, if I'll think deeper into it, there's, there's a message you need to get. Why a particular event happened on one day, not another day. Not this year, previous years. That's concept number one. Everything's for a reason. Here's concept number two. Concept number two says that uh, it's from Desan the Medrash. It says that I'll never get a test. I promise to guarantee it. I'll never get a test or challenge. I can't handle it. So, no matter how hard it seems, how difficult it seems, how insurmountable, how impossible to overcome it might be, um, I have this guarantee in my back pocket. I have it in writing that I for sure can handle it. I can for sure overcome it. So, look at those two concepts together. It means a person is dealing with an issue, a particular problem in their life, um, and they're struggling with it. And what happens is in the moment we're struggling with an issue, it overwhelms us, it consumes us. Um, and that's where the help of another person, an outside person, uh, who's not you, can help you look at these two concepts. But what, what do we usually feel in those moments, in those moments? I can't do this, I can't handle it, it's impossible, I can't get it done. Well, wait a minute, we have this guarantee that uh, not only uh, it's possible, but it's it is definitely doable. Uh, it's, it's overcomable, overcomable, and the simple fact that I've been given the test means that I have all the power, the potential, the strength, and the ability I need to overcome it. And if, in essence, it's a compliment. I'm giving this test. I got this test and this challenge. And my friend next to me doesn't have that test and challenge. It means I'm capable of handling it. Um, that's number one. Number two is it's for a reason, which means is that today's the day. Today was the day, or this was the week, or this is the month, that this particular issue needed to, needed to happen. Um, this is the class for the day. This is the lesson. God is speaking to us. He's with us. He's involved. And, of course, nothing could ever happen in a person's life unless it was directly orchestrated by God. So those, that's, those two concepts together represent a completely different approach to one's life problems. We come in and say, oh, I'm overwhelmed with this issue, and it's awful. But we remember, number one, is the guarantee that I can for sure handle it. Um, and number two, nothing is random. Everything happens for a reason. Uh, so there's something specifically I need to gain. Uh, so now I've got the confidence I can handle it. So I'm staying in the fight because I never get a test I can't handle. That's number one. Number two, there's something in it for me. There's something specific I need to gain. There's, there's, I need to be open to that. I need to embrace it and look for it um, and to deal with it. Those two concepts together represent like a different set of glasses with which I look at my issues and problems. I don't run away from them. I don't medicate them. I don't deny them. I don't pretend they don't exist. But I re-engage. I re-engage with a different look on life, a different perspective, um, an engaging one, an open one, a learning one, an embracing one. And uh, basically, we get these tests and challenges again and again and again until we get the message. So why don't we get the message? Let's just try to get that message and let's move on. This is one of the things that therapy can be very, very helpful for because it's difficult to see it on our own. Uh, it's difficult to pull ourselves out when we're getting overwhelmed and we're convinced that we'll never be able to handle it. Sitting with somebody who has come to know us over several sessions, who's uh, spent time getting to know us, who we've trusted him with certain information, and we see that this is a, a, a loyal listening person with insight, um, 
such a relationship as it really to help us get these tools. These are tools of the Torah, which means the tools of life. And these are tools that everyone has to live by. But again, just to, to read it in a book, it's nice, but it's a process to insert it into one's thoughts and into their speech and their actions. And that, that becomes part of their day-to-day -day life and that they not just know it or they learn it, but then they live it. And then when the Torah is lived, that's where the happiness is. That's where the joy is, the success the overcoming and the tremendous sense of accomplishment. All the best.